Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. So today I wanted to get out of the house because, you know, with quarantine and all this weird virus stuff going on, I just had to get out of the house. And then you say, well, you're an essential worker, you're out of the house every day. Yeah, but I'm out of the house to work, not out of the house to go do something. So I wanted to get a chance to use my new Nikon P1000 Coolpix camera, you know, the one with the really big zoom. Remember, we've been looking at stars and the moon and, you know, stuff like that with it, but I wanted to look at something down to earth. So we jumped in the car and headed up to Mount St. Helens, hoping maybe I could get a good view of the glacier inside of the volcano's crater, you know, the volcanic glacier there. Now it's the beginning of July when we're filming this, so you can see how much snow is still there in July. Some seasons the snow lasts longer, some shorter, but this is about average for this time of year. The problems we faced is, I was hoping to get up to the Johnston Ridge Observatory, and that looks right into the crater. Road is closed. Ah! So I had to go back up to Coldwater Ridge, which is right above Coldwater Lake. We have taken pictures. We haven't done any video at Coldwater Lake, but we've been kayaking there, and we have photos of that. Bam! So we're going to do the best that we can and see what we can see. So today we are using a couple of new pieces of equipment. We are using my brand new Slick, S-L-I-K, tripod. It's a great tripod. This is the first time I've actually used it with this camera. Very happy. And we're also using my motorized pan tilt head, power head. And I've had that for quite a while, but this is the first time I actually used it. When I got it, I took it out of the box, put batteries in it, Played with it, okay, put it back in the box. Haven't had a chance to mess with it. I'll do a full review on both the tripod and the motorized head when I get a chance, but we wanted to use the motorized head today because when you're zooming in on something, you know, and if you've ever zoomed in on something, just any little bump or movement is just exaggerated. You'll see it here. So I have the remote control for the Nikon camera. That was extra. Ouch. But that just, you know, turns it on, you know, record this, zoom in and zoom out and that kind of stuff. So I wanted something that would actually tilt the camera and pan it back and forth and do all that without having to touch the camera and bump it. Now this pan tilt head actually pans fairly slow, but when you're zoomed in, everything is exaggerated, which is why it looks like it is panning very fast. Every little bump, every little this, every little that, you know, oh, the wind, any little vibrating and shaking is definitely it's exponentially magnified when you're zoomed in, and that's a pain, right? All right, so what do you think? You ever been to Mount St. Helens? You ever been up on a volcano? Yes, this could blow at any time, but it probably won't because it's been a while since it's erupted. We haven't had very many earthquakes or dome building situations for quite a while, but eventually inside where that glacier is, you can see the lava dome is in there and that will eventually build up and then rebuild the top of the mountain, which the mountain lost when it exploded. And for those of you who don't know your history, Mount St. Helens major eruption was May 18th, 1980, yeah, a long time ago, but still that's modern history, I guess. For those of us who lived through it, we grew up understanding, hey, there's a volcano and it is going to have an eruption. And it had frequent eruptions. And these frequent eruptions resulted in ash plumes. So your everything would be covered in ash, like snowfall, but it's gray. And we're talking hundreds of miles away from this volcano. So as a kid, you just pretty much got used to, hey, there'd sometimes be piles of ash up and down the street everywhere. Oh, no, it was just horrible. You had to wear masks. No, it was just horrible. But for those of you who didn't live through it, go to Wikipedia, read up about it. Mount St. Helens had several smaller eruptions. They said a big one's coming. They evacuated a bunch of people, and then you had some people who wouldn't leave, and then you had scientists in the area, and then finally, on a Sunday morning, bam. And by bam, it was actually a bigger, you know, bam, because a thousand foot blew off the top of the mountain. So a mountain that was almost 10,000 feet tall was a thousand feet shorter fairly quick. And not only was the mountain now shorter, that explosion and the resulting flows off it killed 57 people, destroyed 250 homes, 47 bridges, 
185 miles of highway and 15 miles of railway. I'm guessing the railway was a little further down that when the mud flows came down the rivers and the valleys that it took out some railway. I never even knew there was a railroad that close. Well, it really wasn't that close, I guess. And then for years afterwards, you would have eruptions. And that's just how it is. You get used to it. And at any time, the earthquakes can start up again and the dome building inside can start or another eruption. It's just when you live near a volcano or... In my case, when you live near several volcanoes, that's just how it is. All right, as I mentioned, I will do full reviews on this motorized pan tilt head. I will do a review on this new tripod because with all the tripods I've bought, and I have a lot of tripods, this one is really the most worthy of a review. I have one other one I'm going to do a review on, and yeah, that'll only be so-so, but I'm really happy with this. And I was happy I had a chance to get out of the house. I wasn't really happy that I had to get in the car and drive for an hour, because, oh, just, oh. One of the things that people forget is that even though Mount St. Helens is close to Interstate 5, it's close to I-5, once you get off there at I-5 in Castle Rock, it's State Route 504, I think, uh, Spirit Lake Highway, it's still another 43 miles, you know, up through the woods to get where you have to go. Now, Johnston Ridge was closed since it was, it was closer, so it had to be in Coldwater Ridge, as I mentioned. And the elevation of Coldwater Ridge is 3,250 feet. But Johnston Ridge would have been actually better because it would have been a better view. But hey, I was surprised, as Leo says during virus time, that the Coldwater Ridge Observatory was actually open. Sadly, Johnston Ridge wasn't. They had the roadblock there, and that, you know, but that, yeah, I'll just go up at another time, right? All right, so you ever been to Mount St. Helens? You ever want to go to Mount St. Helens? You ever knew there's a volcano in the continental United States that blew up? And I don't mean Hawaii. You get volcanoes blowing up there all the time, but that's not the continental United States. We're talking right, you know, in the United States, right here in major population areas. All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Meister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.